Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Gilliland. I'm a chiropractic physician and I am board certified in integrative medicine. And if you're watching this, then you or someone you know suffers from fibromyalgia and you're looking for a solution to your chronic pain and fatigue. Well, today I'm going to talk about a natural therapy for fibromyalgia called pulse electromagnetic field therapy that has been shown in double blind placebo controlled studies to be effective in the treatment of fibromyalgia. So, if you or someone you love is suffering from the effects of fibromyalgia, you really must watch this video because PEMF therapy is different from any therapy that you've used before because it appears to have an effect on the brain, the origin of pain sensations, which, uh, which I will talk about later in this video. But let me begin by saying this. In my opinion, fibromyalgia is a garbage can diagnosis, meaning that you're only labeled with fibromyalgia after doctors rule out everything else. Uh, fibromyalgia diagnosis came into existence in 1990 to categorize people, mainly women, who didn't fit in any other disease or condition category. So basically, this condition was made up so doctors could give people with symptoms of pain and chronic fatigue who didn't fit into the other, any other diagnosis or, or category a diagnosis. No one knows what causes fibromyalgia. There are many theories from hormonal imbalances to genetics to neurotransmitter imbalances. But the bottom line is, we simply do not know what causes fibromyalgia. So what do we doctors do when we don't know what causes something or even how to treat it? We experiment, we take notes, and if someone with fibromyalgia responds to one of uh, their current treatments, we jot that down and share that information with other doctors to see if they experience similar results. If enough doctors get a similar response using a particular remedy, a study is done. And if the study produces positive results in a double-blind placebo-controlled study, the results are then sent out to other doctors for a peer review. And if enough doctors agree that the study has merit, the study is published, giving it credibility. Now this is how uh, a drug like Lyrica, a drug originally approved for seizures, got FDA approval for uh, treatment of mild to moderate fibromyalgia. We have no idea how drugs like Lyrica works in reducing the symptoms of fibromyalgia or why it works, but it does work, at least for some people with mild to low moderate fibromyalgia symptoms. How do we figure that out? People with seizures who, often, who also happen to have fibromyalgia reported a decrease in their fibromyalgia symptoms while taking Lyrica. While this uh, may not be very awe-inspiring uh, methodology, this is uh, more often than not how we figure things out. It's how studies get started. And that's why uh, drug interventions uh, are usually accompanied by unwanted side effects. For example, Lyrica may help you with your fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia symptoms, and, but they may also make you want to kill yourself, being that one of the side effects of Lyrica is suicidal tendencies. But as long as the drug companies will put that on the label and let you know that it's a possibility that that might happen if you take Lyrica, it's buyers beware. And since our healthcare system is pharmaceutically driven, Drugs will always make headlines over natural therapies, even when natural therapies have better outcomes in studies, because that's where the profit is. So, let me tell you about a double-blind, placebo-controlled study from 2009 that showed that PEMF therapy was an excellent alternative to drug therapy. In this study, Sabitza and colleagues evaluated the clinical effectiveness of low-frequency PEMF therapy for women with fibromyalgia. Now in this study, a total of 56 women with fibromyalgia ages 18 to 60 were randomly assigned to either PEMF or sham therapy. Both the PEMF group and the sham therapy group participated in 30 minute sessions twice daily for three weeks. Treatment outcomes were assessed by the fibromyalgia impact questionnaire, visual acuity scale, patient global assessment of response to therapy, Beck depression inventory, and short form 36 health survey. And after four or after three weeks of treatment, and then a follow up again later at uh, 12 weeks, the PEMF group showed significant improvements in all categories 
at the end of the therapy, and these improvements were maintained during the 12-week follow-up. Pretty impressive, right? So why have you never heard of PEMF therapy? How could a therapy that has such good outcomes in the treatment of fibromyalgia not be in every doctor's office? That's a good question. When I first heard about this therapy, I wanted to try it for myself, so I googled PEMF therapy, and I only found one place in Lee or Collier County that had, uh, or that may have had a professional unit, but it was in a cosmetic surgeon's office. So I actually had to drive up to Tampa to try this out for myself. I was so impressed uh, with this machine and this therapy that I purchased it for my office to help my patients who weren't responding to care. So. What is PEMF therapy and how does it help relieve fibromyalgia? First, what is PEMF therapy? Let me give you a quick demonstration. Okay, here I just want to give you or let you see what the equipment looks like. This is the unit that actually creates a magnetic field. What's important about this is you can control the time, the, the frequency, and the intensity of the machine. That's really important and that's why I've gotten or the reason I purchased a professional machine. Now here I'm demonstrating the chair. This chair has a pad and any part of your body that's touching this pad will receive this magnetic uh, field. It also comes in a longer pad that you can lay down on. I'm going to demonstrate that here. Now I'm six foot six so this pad is, is really long. It covers your entire body. These pads are what you use if you've got a problem area. These will intensify the magnetic field. They'll double the strength of magnetic field wherever you place them. In this example, I'm showing uh, someone with a, a bad back or and a bad shoulder. And I can feel a slight pulsating. There's no discomfort, no pain. Um, it's just really comfortable. Just ask them if it's comfortable. If it's Jim, is that comfortable on your head? Yes. So, how does this work for fibromyalgia? We don't know for sure. Again, the best way to the best we can do is speculate. PEMF therapy has been FDA approved for such things as delayed non-union fractures and post-operative pain and edema. Health Canada has approved PEMF therapy for depression in patients who uh, do not respond to medication. So it's, it's been proven safe and effective. And there are thousands of studies on PEMF conditions or for conditions such as uh, musculoskeletal disorders, osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, rotator cuff tendonitis, pelvic pain, migraines, collagen production, insomnia, and many, many others. A simplified explanation of what PEMF therapy does is, well, I'll let Dr. Oz explain. Today on the Dr. Oz Show, you don't have to live in agony anymore. Heal your chronic pain. No pills, no surgery. Today, we are changing the practice of medicine. The FDA has already cleared pulse magnetic therapy for fusing broken bones treating severe, untreatable depression. And now, to treat post-operative pain and swelling. Well, here's what researchers say magnetic fields are doing inside the body. Inside this mat, there are electrical coils. And when electricity passes through there, it creates a magnetic field that, that moves through the body. And it talks, it whispers, there's 75 trillion cells in your body. And it goes deep into your body, places where sports screens and heating pads could never reach. For example, down around the spine, where that red, angry area is. Now, the magnetic field turns on, and when it does it, it, it activates these ions, these charged particles, and there are proteins in there, and there are signals in there, stirs these things up, and these charged particles bring in nutrients, but they also begin to influence things like blood supply. Now, when the blood vessels are going in here, the red blood cells are actually stacked. See, they're stacked like that? They're not supposed to be stacked. When they're irritated, that happens. So when you pass magnetic fields through there, that yellow line, it opens up the blood vessel, it breaks apart these red cells. They're not stacked like coins, so you can get deep healing, better oxygen supply, so the healing process takes place. You don't just feel better, you are better. Okay, 
I'm sure you will agree that Dr. Oz did a great job explaining how PEMF therapy works for pain. What he didn't address was this. PEMF therapy helps with so many conditions because it gives the cells the energy that they need to do the things that they need to do by donating electrons and increasing the cell's internal charge. So cells have the energy to do the things like release neurotransmitters, which is uh, one theory on how PEMF therapy works with fibromyalgia pain. Now again, this is what we think it does. We don't know this for sure. All that we do know is that it did get significant results in the, in the study. What we do know is that cells use about 40% of their energy just to maintain their voltage and keep the cell functioning properly. So just the fact that PEMF therapy donates electrons needed to increase this cellular energy means that the cells have more energy to do whatever it is that that particular, particular cell does. And this is huge because, you know, unlike us doctors, your body knows what it needs to do. It just needs the energy to do it. So if you give your body the energy that it needs, it will be able to function better. PEMF therapy is quite simply amazing, and it's really affordable. 15-minute sessions of PEMF therapy is only $35. So if you would like to try this PEMF therapy for yourself, call my office at 239-444-3106 and schedule your appointment today.